Hello students, my name is Sumit Mehta. So in today's lecture, we will discuss about transportation in human beings. So it is the first diagram I have shown here is of human heart and the second is how transportation takes place means the transport of oxygen and carbon dioxide. So first we will discuss about the heart. Okay. The heart is a it is a muscular organ which is as big as our fist. Okay. Means the size of the fist is equal to the size of the heart because both oxygen and carbon dioxide have to be transported have to be transported by the blood The heart has different chambers. The heart has different chambers. To prevent the oxygen rich blood. containing CO2 also from mixing with the oxygen rich blood mixing with blood carrying CO2 ok so the carbon dioxide rich blood has to reach the lungs for the carbon dioxide to be removed. So the CO2 carrying blood has to reach the lungs for the removal of carbon dioxide for the carbon dioxide to be removed Okay, for the CO2 be removed ok and the oxygenated blood from the lungs has to be brought back to heart and the oxygenated blood from the lungs has to be brought back to heart ok so the main function of the heart is to uh, pump the carbon dioxide uh, carrying blood to the lungs and from the lungs uh, the blood carrying oxygen is taken by the heart and then this blood is distributed in all the parts of human body then pump to the rest part of the body so we can follow this process step by step oxygen rich blood from the chamber of the heart on the left the left RTM so here this oxygen rich blood the left RTM relaxes when it collecting this blood so means when the oxygen rich blood enters so this is contracted left RTM it then contracts when the next chamber the left ventricle so the left ventricle is shown here so it is the left RTM is here ok so it enters the oxygen rich blood enters here and then again left ventricle contracted ok so when the muscular left ventricle contract in turn the blood is pumped out to the body so this part taken care of the blood carrying oxygen.
okay and the deoxygenated blood comes from the body to the upper chamber on the right so the deoxygenated blood comes from here and goes out from here okay so here the left rtm and the right right rtm and the right ventricle takes place in this part as the right rtm contracts the corresponding lower chamber the right ventricle dilates this transfers blood to the right ventricle which in turn pump it to the lung for oxygenation so means the right part of the heart carries the blood uh, which is deoxygenated means carrying carbon dioxide to the lungs and the left part of the heart the left rtm and the left ventricle take care of the blood carrying oxygen to the different part of the body so this is all about the human heart now we will discuss about how oxygen enters the blood in lungs so let me first delete this student so now the separation between the left side and the right side of the heart is useful to keep oxygenated and the deoxygenated part so this separation here is the oxygenated blood and here is deoxygenated blood so such separation always allow a high efficient supply of oxygen to the body okay so this is useful in animals that have high energy needs such as birds and mammals okay so means the separation between the heart carrying oxygenated and the deoxygenated blood helps in carrying sufficient supply of oxygen to the body so this helps in birds and mammals which constantly use energy to maintain their body temperature in animals that do not use energy for this purpose the body temperature depends on the temperature of the environment okay such animals like amphibians amphibians or many reptiles many reptiles also their body temperature depends on the temperature of the environment okay fishes on the other hand have only two chambers to their hearts and the blood is pumped to the gills is oxygenated there and passes directly to the rest of the body okay thus blood goes only once passes through the body on the other hand it goes through the heart twice during each cycle so this is how the oxygen takes place means pulmonary veins from the lungs carrying the oxygen okay and this is vena cava from the body this carrying the carbon dioxide so this is the transportation of oxygen and carbon dioxide as shown in this diagram so i hope students the function of the human heart and how oxygen and carbon dioxide from the heart to the lungs and lungs to the heart respectively takes place okay so now i hope that you are pretty clear about this and if you have still any doubt or any question on this then please do comment in the comment section students i will be happy to help you guys there thank you happy learning